Right, so BioNTech is partnered with Pfizer on their vaccine program. So they're getting the go ahead to start this clinical trial in Germany. And they say they do expect to get the FDA's go ahead to start trials in the United States shortly as well. They're going to be testing 200 healthy people in Germany between the ages of 18 and 55, essentially trying to see um, the right dose of this vaccine. And they're actually testing four different vaccine candidates, as well as to evaluate the safety and what's known as immunogenicity or how much of an immune response this vaccine actually generates. Generates. It's a similar technology to Moderna's. It's called messenger RNA. And so that driving uh, shares up of BioNTech uh, quite a bit. Now, guys, I want to tell you about one other stock that's moving today, not COVID related for the first time in, in a very long time, Biogen. That stock is down quite a bit after the company uh, reported on its earnings call this morning that it's filing for its uh, Alzheimer's drug, aducanumab, is actually going to be delayed now to the third quarter. Previously, they had said this was coming at the beginning of the year. So that disappointing a lot of folks watching this. Uh, but guys, it's kind of nice to just talk about something other than COVID-19 right now, even though it's not particularly good news. Wolf and Sarah. Absolutely. Yeah, I noticed that on the stock. Just Back to COVID-19 for a second, Meg. Uh, on the vaccine and the fact that they've announced these clinical trials in Germany, what does that do to the timeline? And where are we on some of the other sort of more promising projects in the U.S. like Johnson & Johnson? So this is essentially right in line with what Pfizer has communicated to us in terms of being able to start the clinical trials before the end of April. And Michael Dolston, the chief scientific officer, was on with us a couple weeks ago, essentially saying if all goes well, they could have millions of doses available by the end of the year. But all would have to go extremely well in order for that to happen. Uh, Johnson & Johnson has said it plans to start clinical trials in September. Uh, that is a more traditional vaccine approach in terms of the technology. So uh, those trials are starting later. Uh, but they also could have potentially a massive capability of ramping up uh, for manufacturing as well. Um, but according to the Milken Institute, which tracks vaccines and treatments and development for COVID-19, there are eight vaccines already in clinical trials, most of which are in China.